Hello and welcome. You're logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com, the only portal for people of Indian origin in Canada. We broadcast news from India, Canada, Punjab and Gujarat in English, Hindi, Punjabi and Gujarati languages. And our portal and apps have a list of well-established businesses and resources that every global Indian needs. I am Jeshri Kizakidat and today's headlines are In India, at least 23 persons have been killed and over 70 injured in the Utkal Express derailment in Uttar Pradesh. And the JDU faction led by Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has joined the NDA. In Punjab, Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh has been given a clean chit in the multi crore Ludhiana city centre scam. And 15 crore rupees has been sanctioned for the second phase of Jangya Zadi Memorial. In Canada, Canadians have gathered to honour the 75th anniversary of the Jeff Red. And the Saskatchewan party will choose a new leader to replace Premier Brad Wall on January 27. In Gujarat, Chief Minister Vijay Rupani was present in a programme in Gandhi Nagar. And Gujarat former Chief Minister Shankar Singh Waghela can get a direct position as a member of Rajya Sabha. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, Canada, Punjab and Gujarat. Indian Music Lab Artist of the Month Indian Music Lab Artist of the Month Powered by Patanjali Kesh Kanti Sirf Sony Mix or Sony Rocks HD Par Welcome back to Indian Times Daily The top 10 headlines from India are 23 persons were killed and over 70 injured when 14 coaches of the Haridwar bound Utkal Express derailed in western Uttar Pradesh Local residents say human error may have caused the accident. The government has ordered an inquiry which is also probing any possible foul play. The JDU faction, led by Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, has joined the NDA at the party's national executive meeting. General Secretary K.C. Tyagi moved the resolution, which was approved by all invited members. Notwithstanding differences, both the factions of the AIADMK have expressed confidence over their merger in two days. However, a leader of the group led by former Chief Minister Opanil Selvam maintained that expulsion of Visha Shikala from the party was a basic requirement before they can come together. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has attacked Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi and Samajwadi Party National President Akhilesh Yadav for turning Gorakhpur into a picnic spot. Gandhi, who visited Gorakhpur, said that the incident was a government-made tragedy since the deaths occurred due to lack of oxygen. BJP President Amit Shah has said that the centre was handling the Jammu and Kashmir situation seriously and was on the right track since its actions had shown very good results. He also said that the Ram Temple at Ayodhya in UP should be built either through consensus among the parties involved or through a court order. The JDU faction led by Sharad Yadav is to approach the election commission to stake claim over the party symbol arrow. Arun Srivastav, who is considered close to Sharad Yadav, said that the real JDU belongs to Sharad Yadav and party units in different states across India are with him. A civic volunteer died and two others were injured in a blast in northwest Bengal's Kalipong police station on Saturday night. Police have booked three top JGM leaders, including its chief Bimal Gurang, under the stringent Unlawful Activities Prevention Act in connection with the blast. Investigations are underway. Global Software, Major Infosys Limited will buy back 11.3 crore shares of Rs 5 face value at Rs 1150 each via a tender offer. The development comes a day after Vishal Sikha resigned as chief executive after a long-running feud with the company's founders. The government has announced a five-day extension for filing GST returns till August 25th. This is after the GST return filing portal was hit by a technical glitch and stopped functioning, a day ahead of the last day for filing GST returns. Actress Sohali Khan, who is expecting her first child with husband Kunal Kemu, had fun at a baby shower. She even called her sister-in-law and actress Kareena Kapoor Khan and actress Karishma Kapoor, queens of the fashion police. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from Punjab, Canada and Gujarat follows. Get the mortgage that's best for you from Abdul Kazar, principal broker of Ingenious Mortgages. 
We offer first and second mortgages and refinancing. We deal with multiple lenders. We also conduct the REMIC course and exam to become a mortgage agent in just one week at our location. Call us at 416-887-9196 or log on to www.ingeniousmortgages.ca. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are The Vigilance Bureau has given a clean chit to Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh and all 30 other accused in the multi-core city centre scam at Ludhiana. It had registered that the case in 2007 and filed a charge sheet in December 2007. 15 crore rupees has been sanctioned for the second phase of Jangi Azadi Memorial at Kartarpur in Punjab, work on which will start on November 1st. Eminent personalities such as film director Shyam Benegal have been engaged with the project to ensure quality and class. The trade between India and Pakistan through the integrated check post at Atari has resumed. This is after the intervention of Union Home Ministry ending a standoff between traders and the Central Warehousing Corporation. The Punjab Agriculture Department has been directed to adopt 100 cotton plots damaged by the white fly attack in every village of Mansa, Bhatinda, Muktasar and Fazilka districts. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has told the department to use these plots as demonstration farms to educate farmers about integrated pest management. The Punjab Vigilance Bureau has booked eight persons for criminal cheating that caused a loss worth crores to the state exchequer through favoured and illegal tendering of irrigation department works. This has brought to the fore another major scam involving wrongful awarding of government work under the previous SAD BJP regime. Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar has held a high-level meeting to review the security arrangements ahead of a court verdict against Dera Satcha Sada Chief Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh. This was done with the aim of maintaining law and order in the state. The Self-Employed Women's Association has signed an MOU with the Punjab government to empower women in the state. The organization has been working in 21 towns of Punjab on health issues since last year. The UT administration has proposed to construct a ring road around Chandigarh city to decongest the city's roads. If implemented, it will help prevent around 1.5 lakh vehicles from Punjab and Haryana from entering the city daily. A gentleman cadet undergoing pre-commissioned training at the Indian Military Academy in Dehradun reportedly died during physical activity. Deepak Sharma, aged 22, was a native of Bhatinda. Rains made a comeback in the region on Saturday, ending a nearly week-long dry spell and bringing the temperature down to a comfortable level. Light showers are expected to continue at a few places over Punjab, Delhi, Chandigarh, Haryana and Himachal Pradesh for the next 24 to 48 hours. I'll be back still out on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Canada and Gujarat follows. When you are buying or selling a house or a business, you need proper guidance. We at JP Mann Law Firm have the knowledge and the expertise to help you close your transaction hassle-free. For all your real estate needs, give us a call. When you are buying or selling a house or a business, you need proper guidance. We at JP Mann Law Firm have the knowledge and the expertise to help you close your transaction hassle-free. For all your real estate needs, give us a call. Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are Canadians have gathered to honour the 75th anniversary of the Deaf Red and the contributions of Canadians in the Second World War. The Deaf Red took place on 19th August 1942, with almost 5,000 Canadians coming ashore along the heavily dependent coast of occupied France. The Saskatchewan party will choose a new leader to replace Premier Brad Wall on January 27. It looks forward to a robust campaign with many leadership candidates entering the race, where the successor will be decided through a one-member, one-vote system at a convention in Saskatoon. Canada's largest union in the private sector, Unifor, is advising the Canadian NAFTA negotiating team in Washington. Unifor represents members in every key economic sector who have a first-hand understanding of the issues and is well aware of the pitfalls. Thousands have joined a protest against racism and hated Vancouver's City Hall. Vancouver police said that about 4,000 people attended Saturday's rally and the crowd was so large that a busy road in the area had to be closed to vehicle traffic. Two of the British Columbia's biggest wildfires haven't grown much over the past few days despite being fanned by strong winds. 
Kevin Skrepnik of the BC Wildfire Service said that the winds arrived in the province on Friday as forecast but weren't as strong as feared. British Columbia's fired LNG advocate has sued Premier John Horgan in a lawsuit claiming $5 million in damages. Gordon Wilson has alleged that Horgan made defamatory statements by saying that there is no evidence of any written reports or briefings to back up his salary. A fundraising drive between Shelter House and Ontario Public Service Employees Union was held in a block party for the street outreach service program. This is the second time in a matter of weeks that the community has responded with thousands of dollars to restart the program early. Uniqlo employees at the Toronto Eden Centre are eager to form a union. Workers said that they have taken the decision in order to improve their working conditions as the store has struggled to retain employees due to exhausting hours and scheduling requirements. Sears Canada has announced final plans and specific dates for the closing of nine home stores in Canada by August 27th. Sales will continue to run until the last day that each store remains open for business, encouraging customers to take advantage of final discounts. Experts are urging people to take good care of their eyes when they enjoy the spectacle in Canadian skies on August 21st. Staring at the sun for more than a few seconds will cause harm and will take three months to know whether the damage is permanent. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Gujarat follows. Scans a team of highly professional accountants, we deliver quality and immeasurable assistance to our clients. For Canada Audit Assistance and your business loans, the only name you can trust. A professional accountant always makes a difference. For more information, call us at 416-741-0801 or visit us at scansaccountants.com. Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Gujarat are Chief Minister Vijay Rupani was present in the program of a minority society in Gandhinagar. Rupani said that his government has always thought of the welfare of any society, adding that Muslims are the safest in the state. Gujarat former Chief Minister Shankar Singh Waghela can get a direct position as a member of Rajya Sabha. According to the sources, President Ramnath Kovind can elect Waghela directly for the position. However, Shankar Singh Waghela will not represent any party. The Health Department of Vadodara has raided the hotels and restaurants due to increased cases of swine flu in the state. Department has informed the owners to give the Ayurvedic Ukara to the customers. Banas Khanda district has completely devastated by floods. A loss of 219 crore rupees has incurred due to the breakdown of a canal between Banas Khanda and Patan. Reports suggest that it will take six months in reconstructing the dam. The rain has entered Ahmedabad once again. It poured heavily in the month in Gujarat and now again the city has cooled down. Weather department has forecasted that it may pour continuously for three days. Water accumulation in Navavas village of Danta Taluka is harassing people. People have often complained to the system and at the fear of diseases. A 15-year-old Vishal Upadhyay has set an example of honesty. He handed over a diamond packet worth Rs 40 lakhs back to his owner. Surat Diamond Association has facilitated his honesty and has offered a year's school fee as a reward. The number of crimes is increasing day by day. A 25-year-old Harshil Mehta has developed such a technique which will help to control criminal activities. He was facilitated for his invention in Bangkok. Ahmedabad's Shivram Bhatt has done real mean to the campaign Beti Bachao Beti Parhao, but has decided to send his daughter-in-law to Australia for further studies. His initiative is inspiration for the society. Surat Samarthya group is functioning to maintain the heritage of our traditional music. In this group, girls also exhibit their talent along with boys. People wait to watch and enjoy the performance. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-Canadian businesses and resources. From accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Thank you.
Rahul Mishra has maintained distance from calling up Bollywood face as a showstopper. But at the Lakme Fashion Week Winter Festival 2017, actress Shraddha Kapoor turned his muse, walked the runway. Shraddha was a picture of elegance as she glided down the ramp in a gorgeous embellished monsoon crane lehenga with hand embroidered muga silk magenta blouse and the superbly crafted chintz scalloped dupatta. Thanking to the designer who chose her as a showstopper, Shraddha said. For certain people, they understand everything directly, the poetry. But sometimes when Projective wants to reach out to the larger audience with amazing price points, obviously, uh, like Bollywood is one of the strongest reasons, strongest face, what a good cause can have. And ultimately, when I got to know about Shraddha, like it was a very natural excitement amongst everybody. Divya to everybody was like unanimously excited. And this was one exception which came from a team. Let me tell you this also. Can I, I want to add something to it. Jo designer kabhi bhi showstopper nahi rak, rakta, usne mujhe chuna. To mere liye bhoat badi baat hai ki uh, jo apne vichar ko badal sake because unke vision, vision ke hisaab se unhe laga ki mein fit ho pai. So I think it's a very big deal. Catering to the needs of the dynamic new age Indian woman, Mishra offered a festive collection that displayed the beauty and organic blend of handloom craft with impeccable construction. Welcome to the Field Fresh Supermarket. One-stop shop for fresh vegetables, fruits, bakery products, Indian and Chinese grocery and much more. Visit us today at 5661 Steels Avenue East in Scarborough, major intersection Steels and Middlefield. Check out our weekly flyers. Field Fresh Supermarket. Always fresh. Actress Soha Ali Khan, who is expecting her first child with husband Kunal Khemu, had fun at her baby shower. She even called her sister-in-law and actress Karina Kapoor Khan and actress Karisma Kapoor queens of the fashion police. So her posted a photographs in which she can be seen posing with Karina and Charisma. So is wearing a pink dress while Karina and Charisma were twinning with military colored starry jacket, white top and jeans. Caught between the queens of the fashion police, so her captioned the image. So I also posted a favorite moment of the day with Temur Ali Khan Patondi in the picture Temur staring his aunt Soha. Soha also shared another photograph from the baby shower with Neha Dhupia, Konkana Sen Sharma and others. Well, Tamur and his mom Karina stole the limelight at the baby shower of Soha Ali Khan.